And welcome back for the final episode of the Jedi Knight on Coruscant. At least for now, anyway. And, uh, we got more quests to turn in. You've been gone a while. I'm even working overtime. My commander's calling every five minutes, bugging me about those schematics. You get them from the Justicars? It's all yours. Take it. Finally. Here's what I can pay you, plus a little extra for hazard duty. And can we keep this quiet? Hiring you to get this back makes the rest of us look bad. The schematics could be very helpful. Be sure they aren't wasted. Well, my commander's real excited to see these secret passages, but we'll see if he actually follows through. Either way, you spared my team a massive headache, and probably even a few casualties. A few? And you guys would have been wiped out. Uh, heavy armor parts, yeah, it's more droid stuff, so yeah, might as well take it. Alright, so as far as, uh, this part of the Jedi Knight story went... Welcome. Please select an available travel route. I thought it was, Have a uh, safe and pleasant stay. Stupid droid. I thought it was much better than, uh, Tython. Tython felt very, kind of, bland. Very, uh, one-sided towards the Jedi. I mean, there were, of course, moral choices there, but they didn't really feel like, you know, ooh, I'm being bad, I'm being naughty, you know. It's like, it just seemed like the good side for the Jedi was very bland, the bad side was really non-existent. Um, as for Coruscant, I thought it worked out much better. Uh, you were faced with moral choices once again, and they seem to uh, fit more with uh, at least my personality type for uh, playing a Jedi. Uh, as far as the story is concerned, uh, having a Sith Lord on Coruscant trying to uh, basically win the war without starting the war is uh, pretty amazing. And having that uh, Sith Lord be the son of Darth Angrel, which, if you don't know the uh, the Old Republic lore, Darth Angrel was one of the two Darths that was responsible for the sacking of Coruscant. Darth Malgus, of course, being the other, the one who actually sacked the Jedi Temple. Uh, Angrel was the uh, one in charge of the Imperial Navy, who basically, you know, waited out until uh, Coruscant's security defenses, is like orbital defenses, whatever you want to call them, was uh, neutralized, and then he warped directly, or er, warped, wow. Uh, <laughs> he, he completed a hyperspace jump directly into the orbit of Coruscant and uh, began the sacking, which is why, you know, as soon as, uh, if you watch that uh, cinematic again, as soon as Darth Angrel is done taking over the Jedi Temple, uh, you see a bunch of uh, Imperial starfighters flying through the air and blowing stuff up and all that. But let's turn in a quest. The power darkness is obsolete. The conduits are fully functional, and I have witnessed through our monitors. Also, you destroyed many enemy droid machines, so well done. Coruscant's power supply is safe. No more blackouts. Now, not eternally, in one millennium, if our interests intersect, we will ask for help again. Please remember, Gree technology is exclusive to the Enclave. Do not attempt to duplicate, or you will be absorbed into the Great Pentacaron. Oh dear lord, anything. Anything but the Great Pentacaron. The Black Bisector returns prosperous, and we form the Red Parallel Senator Aranda. The Enclave Republic bargain evolves achievement. So you succeeded? You really helped all the Gree, um, delegates complete their repairs to the infrastructure? There were difficulties, but the Force was with us. The Enclave delivers its promised Gree ingenuity, Senator. Coruscant acquires Purple Equilateral, and the Enclave requests Republic Reciprocity. Ambassador Droid Patake, the Republic has other damaged worlds that could benefit from your Gree ingenuity. I propose drafting a formal treaty between the Republic and the Gree Enclave. What do you say to that? You seek a blue parallel with the Enclave. I am astonished, gratified, challenged by the prospect. 
Let us initiate renewed white vertex at once. I'm glad to have aided the formation of this new alliance. By your actions, we see that Gree technology will be invaluable as we rebuild the rest of the Republic. You have my thanks for all your efforts. I'd almost given up on these droids before you came along. That would have been a costly mistake. Acknowledgement and profound tribute, Black Pie Sector. This collaboration achieves through you. And we get new robes. And I will take them, because really I have no other choice. And we will move on. But anyway... So, that's the lore between, uh... <laughs> the Darth Angrel. And, um... What the hell else do I have to turn in? Oh, speak to the Senator. That's what's up there. Actually, let me do that before, uh... So anyway, now uh, Darth Angrel is pissed off, and now he wants to basically start his own war against uh, the Republic and ourselves. Of course, blaming us for the death of his son, because after all, we did kill his son. But we did ask him to surrender first. I mean, that, you know, it's not like we went in, you know, lightsaber on <laughs> in, the, in its upright position, ready to smack him down you know, and assassinate him or anything, you know, he put up a fight, he just wasn't as good as us, and now he wants to be mad at us, so, you know, maybe he should be mad at himself for not training his son to be, you know, better, but anyway, so more than likely we're going to have to start dealing with that, and that will be more than likely our overarching story. Your son's journal, Senator, there were Imperials in the temple, and your marks were overwhelmed. Imperials? In the Jedi Temple? No wonder the mercenaries never returned. The Empire couldn't be after family heirlooms. I must inform the Senate of this. Thank you, Master Jedi. It must have been difficult to enter those ruins, but you've eased a father's pain. I am glad to ease a father's pain. I don't know. Eh, let's see. Shield. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Lightsaber. Offhand only, and no thank you. Uh, da, 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 I can have basically accommodation. So we will take that. Alright, but anyway. So if our uh, story, overarching story is going to be us against Darth Angrel, more than likely we're going to have to start uh, going after these uh, military bases that were <laughs> containing our... Uh, secret weapons that they now control and if I remember correctly master quicks and uh, our former master whose name escapes me at the moment uh, went to two of those as well as an agent also went there now I trust the two Jedi but can I trust the agent I don't know but even so, what happened to the Jedi and the Agent? I'm sure all these questions will be answered at some point. But uh, it will probably be a while before we get those answers. So let's see what's going on now. No one saw this coming, Master Satil. Not even the Jedi Council. We sensed it for weeks, General. If you'd told us of your secret project, we might have averted this disaster. There he is. The hero of Coruscant. Welcome back, son. Coruscant is safe, but I had to destroy the planet prison and kill Tarnas. Yes, we've heard. We also know Tarnas was the son of Darth Angrel. The public comm channels are being flooded with threats from that maniac, vowing revenge. Have either of you faced this man before? I don't know him. Darth Angle personally led the forces that sacked Coruscant in the last war. He was furious when the Emperor signed the treaty. Looks like he's back to finish what he started. The Empire has formally disavowed Darth Angle's actions, saying he's gone rogue. It's a lie, but the Senate refuses to authorize a military response. For good reason. Neither the Republic nor the Jedi are prepared for another war. We would lose. 
Billions would die. And if the enemy turns our weapons against us, billions will die. Tarn has transmitted the details of all our top secret projects to his father. We trace that transmission to the planet Ord Mantell. Darth Angrel must have a base there. I need you to find it. If we catch him in his lair, we could end this crisis right now. I doubt Angrel's on that world, but his spy network certainly is. Master Orgus senses greatness in you, and so do I. This mission is yours. I'm going to. Master Kuwix left me here to help. Agreed. Take Kira. Train and protect her like she's your own Padawan. It's an important responsibility. I won't take lightly. We'll get to know each other. It'll be nice. I must inform the Council of these developments. Travel safely, young Jedi. May the Force be with you. All I've ever wanted was to protect the Republic. I was stationed here when the Empire attacked Coruscant. Saw the Jedi Temple destroyed. All those Padawans and Masters cut down. I started these weapon projects in their honor. There is no death. There is only the Force. Weapons won't restore what was lost. Maybe not, but I can at least stop the Empire from committing more atrocities. I already have one of our best starships waiting for you at the spaceport. Your astromech droid is prepping it for takeoff. There's civil war on Ord Mantell. It's an no-fly zone. Dock at the orbital station there and contact me. Good luck. Alright, so we get our own ship finally. And, uh... Of course, with it, we get our own droid. Of course, we got it a little early. <laughs> you get it as soon as your ship becomes active, so... Come back! And welcome back, Kira. So now we have three companions as opposed to two like every other class we have played so far. Of course, we have two left. We have the agent and the counselor left to play through. So who knows? Perhaps the agent will get another companion. Perhaps the counselor will get another companion. Although if it's the counselor, that seems a little unbalanced if I was, uh, <laughs> if I was a Sith plan man. Of course, I play both sides, so, you know, I don't particularly care, but, you know, then again, if you look at uh, crew skills, max deployable is still only two, so you don't get uh, to use that as an advantage, at least as far as crafting is concerned. So there is uh, some balance, I suppose, and I guess before I leave, I should go train. But uh, yeah, that is it for Coruscant. It was a fun place to be at. Definitely a, a beautiful planet. With all the uh, architecture and everything going on. Using a lightsaber is just as much science as art. Whatever you say, killer. We can spar anytime. I only get two skills. Pretty sure I leveled up like twice there. Or did I? No, I went back. Never mind. Anyway. So Coruscant's over. We have saved the day, at least for this planet. But now we must save the day for the entire galaxy from a... Uh, supposedly rogue Sith Lord. Or, well, Darth, technically. Who has many Lords at his uh, disposal. I believe we saw three in the hologram, in the uh, holocom, or whatever you want to call it. The phone call, the uh, <laughs> video text message, <laughs> whatever. And uh, we need to start figuring out where these guys are hiding, or where they're going to try and trap us. And right now, it looks like Ord Mantell is the first point of. Uh, our investigation. Ward Mantell is, of course, where the uh, trooper and smuggler first start off. So that's a little different than most of the other classes, where instead of you know going to Narshada or Tatooine or Balmora or any of the other uh, options that have been put to us, we're going to a starter world again. Just not the starter world that this particular class came from. 
So it is definitely a little different. Uh, I'm sure everything there will not be below level 10. <laughs> and I'm sure uh, we won't have to do all the quests there, but uh, perhaps we will just for uh, the XP and some gigs at how quickly everything dies. For a second there, I thought that was uh, going to kill me. Or at least attack me. Now it is time to board our Jedi boat. Since we haven't played the Consular yet, we have uh, not seen this. Or at least you guys haven't seen this. Damn corrupted video files. Take a quick tour as usual of our ship. There's our droid. Or our other droid. My new master at last! I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Glad to have you aboard. Tell me your function, C2. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard this Corellian Defender class light -like corvette. It was custom built to offer a Jedi both first-rate combat performance and meditation amenities. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Thanks for the tour, C2. My pleasure, Master. I do have a few final notes. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. What do you consider a non-hazardous task? I am programmed to modify other technology. I can also perform long-range surveillance and diplomacy. I'm quite useful, I assure you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. And we get experience just for listening to him. All right. Let's take our little tour. It's our mouse droid attempts to follow us. All right, down these stairs leads to the exit of the ship. Up here we have the bridge, along with Kira. May the Force be with us. Who does not want to speak to us? The Republic Fleet Command uh, communication right here is for uh, space combat. Let's see, over here... We have, wow, come on, work with me here. Over here we have our uh, quarters. Let's see, we just came from out of there. There's, of course, C2N2, our hollow terminal. 
Come in, Coruscant Control. Requesting permission to launch. Permission granted, Master Jedi. Coordinates to Ord Mantell have been uploaded to your Nava computer. Good hunting. And there you go, and we get a <laughs> we get a lightsaber for that. And uh, no, thank you. Take the commendation. And here we have our cargo bay with our cargo hold or storage area, however you wish to refer to it. And there our small lounge area. That looks a little Jedi ish with the uh, kind of the archives look to it don't really know what would go here some kind of artifact or something maybe I'm sure we might find on find out later on and uh, let's go downstairs and down here we seem to have the engine compartments uh, medical bay maybe Ish stuff, and there's our boy T7. What you want? Is there something you need to tell me? <laughs> I like my crew to be happy. Jedi Master Zello is, of course, the uh, Jedi in the sacking of Coruscant uh, cinematic that uh, was whooping on Melgus like a true badass, but ended up dying to him. It's always hard to lose someone. If you're looking for a hero, look no further. Basically, T7 wants to uh, do away with Darth Melgus after killing his uh, former best friend, Master Zello. And, uh,. Yeah, who can blame him? And after that, we get a little codex entry about Jedi Master Zello. And that's pretty much it. And now, uh, Kara wants to have a chat. Or Kira. Kara. So, ground rules? Master Kuix let me do whatever, as long as I wasn't in her way. Do what I do, and you'll be fine. We make it up as we go. Nifty. Question two. What's my job on the ship? Hate standing around. Makes me antsy. It's a big ship. There's plenty of work. Do what comes naturally. Reprogram the computer to call me master? Done. We'd better get moving. Let's go save the galaxy. And pretty simple. And that's pretty much it. But you know what? I don't feel like we're done yet. I think I'm going to break tradition of uh, ending videos there. And uh, might as well take a sneak peek. Just a little peek. As you look out the window. Go into hyperspace. And there's Ord Mantell.
Although, for this, I do have to take T7, if I remember correctly. supposed to contact them, so uh, where exactly do I do this? Wait, new intelligence, use your ship's hollow term. You gotta be kidding me. Hold on. Man, this sneak peek is just a fail. <laughs> Welcome back, master. Your vessel is in flawless condition naturally. Yeah, it better be. Alright, hollow terminal. General, I've arrived at Ord Mantel. Perfect timing. I've just finished coordinating things with my man on the ground there. SIS agent Atau followed the enemy transmissions to a specific location planet side. He'll give you the full details. Your T7 unit can interface with Darth Angrel's hyperspace data transceiver and download his communications. Take the droid with you. I guess I'll be playing Dejarik against myself while you have all the fun. I'm ready to go, General. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet Agent Otow. Good hunting. Barsuthra out. I've visited my share of seedy ports, but this one's the seediest. Just as well I'm staying behind. I'll make sure nobody steals our landing thrusters. Check out the spaceport while we're gone. If this place is as bad as you say, Darth Angrel may have a presence here. Wouldn't surprise me. I'll poke around and see what's what. Have fun down there. Oh, we will, lady. The Desolator Super Weapon. That immediately just sounds like all kinds of bad. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Jedi Knight and T7 landing on Ord Mantell. I had the option to take Kira, but uh, I, as she is kind of a uh, slicer anyway, so she would be able to uh, handle computers at almost as well as T7, I suppose. And I'm sure that would have given me brownie points with her along the way, but uh, we're going to take the droid for now. Alright, so now that we actually have a objective to go down to the planet, let's go down to the planet. why the cinematic is us landing our ship why do I whatever trooper has me thinking uh, this is <laughs> filled with bad guys um, uh <laughs> but why the cinematic has us landing on the planet wow go up one step there bud and yet we land on a spaceport or I should say a space station I have no idea alright so Fort Garnick is uh, the person we are looking for in Fort Garnick yes they are all the way up front alright let's see what they have to say and uh, I think that might actually do it for our sneak peek because we are right at 30 minutes at this point 
I apologize because the uh, I kind of killed the whole sneak peek thing idea by not realizing that I had to hit hollow terminal first. And here he is. Agent Otal, Republic SIS. Welcome to Ord Mantel. Hope you enjoy war zones, Master Jedi. This planet's full of them. What have you learned about Darth Angrel's operation here? General Var Suthra had me send a probe droid to the hyperspace data transceiver's location. I learned two things. First, it's on an island. Second, they don't like visitors there. My probe droid wound up disintegrated. Make sure that doesn't happen to you, eh? Disintegration isn't on my to-do list. When you find the hyperspace data transceiver, plug in your T7 unit and download everything you can from its logs. With any luck, we'll learn what Darth Angrel's been up to. Be seeing you. Alright, so to get an idea of what island this is on, it is way up here. What was way up there? I don't remember going up. Well, <laughs> obviously, if it's uh, for the Jedi Knight, you more than likely never went up there. But, uh, yeah, that'll do it for us uh, in this episode. Tune in next time we play the Jedi Knight as we will explore Ord Mantell and uh, find out what Darth Angrel was up to here on Ord Mantell. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.